Pelé, Ronaldo, Kaká, Rivaldo, Socrates, Cafu. The football world has long been accustomed to the fact that the star players of Brazilian origin always have names consisting of just one word on their backs. Many of you will think that Brazilians just have long names and convenience is the matter. But you will be wrong. Why? Let's kick it out! Brazil is a former colony of Portugal, so it is just natural that some of the traditions characteristic of Portugal have become fully or partially adopted in this Latin American country. Among such traditions are naming conventions. As a rule, a name of the Brazilian football player consists of the following parts. Number 1. The given name, which is often additionally complemented with a saint's name and a preposition da, das, do, dos or de. Number 2. The mother's last name. And number 3. The father's last name. Thus, most Brazilians do not feel a strong attachment to their surnames. The citizens of this country do not rely on the last names because their culture appreciates the individuality and personality and a person's image to some extent. In other words, a surname does not represent a person, it's just a surname. For example, Hulk, the famous Brazilian striker, having a muscular appearance, chose this nickname only because he was fond of comics in childhood and his father used to call the small boy Hulk. So this is it, such a nickname as a tribute to childhood memories. Quite often the nicknames are picked on jocular basis, as Brazilians, unlike Europeans or Americans, do not treat funny names as pejorative. For example, Carlos Caetano Bladorn Vary, commonly known as Dunga, got his name in early childhood. The word Dunga is derived from the Portuguese translation of Dopey, a dwarf from the Disney version of Snow White. This nickname was given to Carlos due to short height and childhood. His uncle believed that the boy would grow quite short in mature years. And even though Dunga's uncle was mistaken, the nickname remained in use. But still, despite the cultural characteristics, quite often the Brazilian players' nicknames come down to mere convenience. For example, in Orna to confuse the players of a single team, one player may bear the name Gilberto, while the other being Gilberto Silva. Interestingly, at the dawn of his career, the phenomenon Ronaldo was called Ronaldinho, because another Ronaldo Rodriguez de Jesus was already playing in the national team. There are hundreds of similar examples. If you would like Football Geeks to make an episode about the funny stories behind popular Brazilian footballers' names, let us know in the comments section. Subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you soon.